here's the situation we got at 15. Um, you have drywall crews hanging drywall. And how it generally works is you'll have one crew that say, for instance, they don't have the scaffold. All right, so they are not gonna be doing the second floor with them vaulted ceilings. Say these guys are, say for instance, they just want to work only on stilts. And so they'll pick in, say Grant, just these crews pick the first, uh, first floor units here. So happy to see the back left window is not covered up with drywall like happened with the last building 1402. Wait a start, Ace. Hey, hey. So they, what they do first, they hang the ceilings first, and they come downwards. And this is where it's real important that I try to make these outlets and switches and everything as visible as possible. See, you can see what I mean by the, the marking paint that we put down ahead of time. It gets, once we start hanging drywall, that dust, you know, it gets everywhere. It's hard to see those marks, and so I try to walk if I can, when they're hanging the ceiling, check the overhead penetrations before these marks get uh, disappeared and rubbed out, rubbed away. So they're not down low enough for the outlets. They got that down over there, which is good. And let's go outside, lanai. We got the, the ceiling hung, looking good. Bueno trabajo. Hey. All right. And. Uh, so we're going to 1503. A lot of scrap. That's why we fill them three dumpsters up pretty quick. Why no start days? Looks like we're just getting started here. Here we are. Hanging the ceiling first. A lot of working over your head. This is not easy. It'll wear you out. Let's clean the lens. And then, after they're all done, a separate crew. So these guys are generally only do the hanging. Then you have another crew that'll come in, and then they start doing the taping and finishing. So all the joints, you know, let me find a joint here. They say I put the corner bead on here, but all these joints start getting taped. See all those little seams? They gets three layers, a, a first layer with a, a narrow trowel, then a wider trowel, then they usually finish with a 10 inch trowel. It blends all those seams in. That's the whole crew to itself. And then they sand in between each coat of mud. Hey buddy. So they create an enormous amount of dust. And uh, hey Corey, how you doing? All right. And then a whole separate crew comes with the texture mobile, it's on a trailer. It's about a $50,000 rig. And then they do all the texture. And so it's kind of a three-party process, the hangers, the tapers, and then the texture guy. And uh, we're gonna be filling these dumpsters up quick. I don't know if you're able to go back in the video and see, but the goal is to use as much as possible complete sheets of drywall. And so the, the stuff we throw away, we call the yield. Now they might hold on to a piece here or there when you get to a tight little spot, say inside of making a finishing out a closet. But in general, if you were to add up all the square footage of this drywall that goes in the dumpster, uh, that's a lot of material and that stuff is heavy. The bummer is my, uh, the forklifts are gone so I cannot mash down these dumpsters. We're looking good brother? Yeah. 10-4. Huh? You want to go to the pig barbecue? I'm, I'm actually had a sandwich in my car, and uh, I have a closing here uh, in a little while. So I'm but appreciate the offer. That light, the... that light change the bulb. It's still kind of dim. It's got glow on it. You pull that glow down, it's bright as shit. But I changed the bulb, but it's still looking dim. So it's the glass that's causing it? Did you tell Gary? Okay, I gotta call him right now.
I got to I gotta swap that bolt. Can we swap it with something in here? Because that, I got a closing, and, it, and it's got to be. light nowhere? One of those small bullshit lights? No, uh, unless we take it out of unit four or five that gets the same fixture. But I got to have that done. I sent that to well, Gary. Look at it. See, I mean, it's brighter than it was. Come look at it real quick. All right. I got to look at a light bulb, folks. 